looking at this video like, girl, I was not sure if we were gonna get this because I know you only do albums, but listen, this is like an EP to me. This is a whole new experience and I have to experience it with you guys. Like, duh. So last time I saw You Beautiful Carpenters, we did go over the emails I can't send album. Um, it went great. I kind of broke my door in the process of listening to it. I just broke my door. <laughs> I didn't break it, I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. And then I went to the Phoenix show and nearly broke my knee. So basically what I'm trying to say is I need safety belts, I need seat belts, I need something. I need someone to hold my hand basically when I'm listening to Sabrina apparently because I just cannot control myself. So warning. I'm an idiot, I don't know. But by the time you're watching this, I probably have already gone to the LA show at the Greek Theater and the show that is here in Arizona. I'm very excited. I have my best friend, Julie, who's gonna hold my hand in California to make sure I don't fall and die. I mean, if you're seeing this, I, I probably survived, so. Go me. So we have four new songs to listen to today. Opposite, Feather, Lonesome, Things I Wish You Said. Ooh, that last title, Things I Wish You Said. After hearing everything else on the album, Suddenly that song doesn't exist in me. Like we don't need to listen to it. Anyway, so to get into the mood, um, I am going to listen actually to Decode real quick. <laughs> I mean, you know, tug my arm. I love that song. I'm gonna cry to it live. Um, just to kind of see how it's gonna flow into the rest of the tracks. But enough talking, enough chit chat. Let's just get into it. You're good at the fall and not the same there. What a perfect ending to an album though. God, it's so good. Like it's too good. I don't feel like I should have this. I didn't deserve it. <laughs> you are confused and keep me up at night. I'm so tired. Oh girl, I gotta get up already. Ooh! Where else can we go? There's nothing left here to decode. Don't look in for sounds and the gaps in the silence. Being myself, did that emasculate you? I still love that line so much. I don't know, my feminist ass, I'm like, period. Put them in their place. Confusion, keep me open. And then, like, the silence right here to the steady build back up into the production with the strings, bitch! The strings. Oh my god. But it's funny because now when I listen to this song, I think back to my sound check. Someone had a question about this song. Did you always want to start the album? It's times like these which I had a time machine and then ended with Let's Make a Video Tour for yourselves. Yes! It's a very good uh, realization. Um, I didn't have the idea from the beginning to start it and end it that way, but I realized, um, you know, kind of far along to the album process, once I was listening back to everything, that voice memo was a pin and a decode. And it's so funny to me because it was never something that I saved to put in a song. Um, it came from a video actually, I pulled it from a video. Um, and I realized, I was like, oh wow, this actually just embodies the acceptance of, um, of the end of this album cycle so much. And then when I went back and listened, I was like, that's incredible and I, I'm so happy that that worked out. Um, it's always those things that I feel like just are like happy accidents though. I don't know, I just, I love hearing to our future selves, bitch. I just love hearing inspiration like that behind the tracks. I could have a three hour documentary of her just explaining every little thing that went into this album and it still wouldn't be enough for me. So, that's me. Okay, next song, here we go, Miss Opposite. Oh, it's slower. Why do you think it was gonna be fast? Oh, so you do have a type, and it's not me. Oh, so you can reply, just to not me. If you wanted brown eyes. Oh shit! Oh, we're going... I did not think we were gonna have that energy! Oh, so you can reply. That actually makes sense because before the math wasn't mathing and now it is. You're just a dumb bitch. Got it, okay. She looks nothing like me Can't really tell should I be Trying to take it as a compliment It's kind of feeling like the opposite I love this, this melody. And I know now, even if I try to change. Build up in production and layers in the vocals. Okay, okay, I'm here. Even if I try to change, that somehow you'd end up with her anyway. She's in the. I have 
to say, mm, I haven't felt this way in a relationship sense, but I have felt this way in a friendship sense of like almost just being a placeholder. I'm just here until you actually find what you're looking for kind of a thing. Like I'm just here to entertain you. And it is the worst and most like humiliating feeling almost because it's like, damn, really? And then to see that person like happier with another person to sit here and be like, even the point of like, oh, they have brown eyes. I would have gotten contacts if that was what you were into. I would do anything that I could to fit your standard. But at the end of the day, it's not even going to matter because you're going to end up with that person anyway because that's not who you are. Damn. Why are we getting in our feelings already? Because like, I thought opposite was going to be fun and lonesome was going to be the sad bitch. Maybe it'll be the opposite of what I thought. Does she get up on top of more than I would? Does she just love the picture cause you're painting it? I mean, honestly, good for her. That leg strength must be impeccable. She looks nothing like me. Oh, God. This is so up my alley. Ooh, come on, Bridge. Come on, Bridge. I know this bridge is gonna hit. Sabrina went to the Taylor Swift songwriting school at Bridges. No bridge? Oh, I kind of like this fade out though. Why did that give me chills? Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, I actually liked that outro. It was kind of, it gave me that sense of that realization of it was gonna happen anyway. It sucks, it hurts, but we move kind of a thing, you know? And that's a good transition from I mean, I think it's a good transition from Decode. If it was in the actual album, I definitely would, you know, place it in different places. Like Decode is just such a perfect closing track. I will never get over it. I really liked that one. Oh my God. I kind of already want to listen to it again, but we have to move on. <laughs> Okay guys, I know we're having a lot of fun, but before we continue on with the video, I do want to say a huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Ritual is a company that believes that everybody should know what is in their multivitamin, and honestly, yeah. Probably you should know what you're putting into your body. This clinically backed multivitamin formulated with key high quality nutrients is to help fill common dietary gaps. It's designed to support foundational health with key nutrients to support brain health, bone health, blood building, and antioxidant support. My favorite thing though, because ethically I'm trying to be a better shopper, consumer, but it is vegan friendly, non-GMO, get this, gluten free. So my babes with sensitive tummies, yeah. I got us, don't you worry. But like for real, it's designed to be gentle on your tummy, so you can even take it whenever you want. You don't even have to take it with food. It's actually really interesting though, because with the delayed release capsule design, it's actually designed to dissolve later in your smaller intestines, which I didn't know. I guess it's actually the best place, or an ideal place, I should say, to absorb your nutrients. I have no idea, literally no idea. But on the real, no matter how balanced your diet is, you know, sometimes you just need a little extra love, you need a little extra care, and that's okay. This powerful little vitamin is delivered straight to your door so you never have to worry about running low. Plus, if it's something that you want to try but you end up not loving it, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So if you want to start a daily ritual, Ritual is offering you all 20% off during your first month. Visit ritual.com slash reacts20 to start today. Thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Without further ado, let's get back into it. Okay, we're gonna go on to Feather. Miss Feather. Hmm, let me try to think of any predictions. Sabrina is a very like visual writer. So with the title being Feather, I'm like trying to think of what feathers are like. Like they float, they're soft. Maybe that's gonna tie in, I don't know. Let's listen, let's listen. Oh, oh, not an oh like Okay, little synths in the background, this 80s vibe. So much lighter, like a feather with you off my mind. This is such a good follow-up to opposite. Act like a bitch. not caring where you are tonight. See, that's what I was saying earlier about a feather. It's light, it's airy. I feel as, I love that. It's that thought process of now that this situation is done and over with, I feel so much lighter. I definitely can relate to that because I am someone, God bless me, that just puts everything on my shoulders, no matter what it is. I don't know why I feel like I have to take care of everything. Maybe that's the perfectionist. Maybe it's the mental illness. 
Who knows? But I like that the production matches the lyrics. It feels very light. It feels very fresh and young and youthful. And I've talked about it before. Like I like, you know, when artists are on trend and like they're experimenting, they're doing this, doing that, but they're making it their own. I can totally see this within the rest of the album. It doesn't feel so far fetched from the rest of the production. And it feels so Ooh, and it feels Come on, vocal control. Got you blocked. Blocked. Try to call. Not coming through. I'm so sorry for your loss. Ah! <laughs> I love that energy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I love when women. I love when women know their worth. Thank you. Thank you. Act like a bitch. This part, it's this part. They miss me, no duh, where I'm at. I'm <laughs> no duh, she said, damn, I miss me too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the continuation of the lyrics with the layering, bitch. She did that for me. Ooh, Feather's fine. I know she has performed um, Feather on tour. Do you know that? I just you know, didn't click on the video, didn't listen to it, whatever. I I'm gonna be elbowing bitches. You just saw that, right? Yeah, that's that's the energy. <laughs> oh, not a guitar. Ew, are we in a Western? If I fall in love with all my problems, will they leave me too? If I fall in love with all my problems, would they leave me too? Why am I about to start sobbing? That is a lyric that it's like, why was that not written before? I feel like I already knew that in my soul. I feel like, oh, I feel like I might have a mental breakdown. Let's keep going before I start crying. Maybe I believed in all your lies cause I believed in you. Okay. About her face with your hands around my waist. Did you even give a fuck? Oh God. You can't spell lonesome without me. Mm. Oh my God. Ooh, okay. You can't spell lonesome without, without me. Many thoughts, many thoughts. Don't know how I feel about this Western vibe. I think I would have preferred this, uh, not to sound so repetitive, but over some strings or a piano. I don't know. Even like a big poppy beat, I think would have been fun. It would have been one of those songs where the production doesn't match the lyrics. You know, it kind of overshadows it, but then that's, I think actually that would have been really cool because if it overshadows it, when you are lonesome, you know, you're, you're not seen, you're not heard. You're kind of just with yourself. And so if people are focusing on the beat and not the lyrics, that would have actually tied in really nicely. That would have been really cool. But these lyrics, girl, why are we doing a personal attack? You can't spell lonesome without me. That's the one that's like, fuck. Hey kids, spelling is fun, right? That lyric hurt. I'm like going into my shell right now. I'm like, I'm hurt, time to protect. And that's how it ends? Oh, you bitch. Okay, she said, F your feelings, gotta go. And then that's gonna go into things I wish you said. What is this gonna be about then? And it's so short. Oh, not another guitar girl. Oh no. I always reach for your leg over there on your side of the car. Nobody gets my jokes, everyone here thinks I'm fucking rude. <laughs> Me! <laughs> oh my god, have you ever experienced that? I have, where you're trying to joke with someone 
and then it just goes completely flat and you're like, great, now they hate me. This is why, I don't wanna say I have social anxiety, but like I low-key kind of do because especially being on the internet, I, I put all of myself out here, but when I meet someone in person, I don't, like I don't know you. Like you kind of know me, but I don't really know you and I don't know what you're comfortable with. Like we don't really have that established relationship. So yeah, there's definitely been times where I've like talked to someone and said something and been like, that was a mistake. I should just not speak ever again. <laughs> I think about these things at night before I fall asleep. Mm -hmm. okay. Things I wish you said to, to me. me. Mm -hmm. The night that your sister said that you got in an accident. And God, I. That I can't even stone my. build oh bring it back bring it back I, what about that whole accident line what is that all about did i miss something one day i'll make sure you get a real apology no way things you'll never say to me and that's how that ends too what is with these endings? She gets me so invested and it's just like, bye, peace out. No, girl, I, I need like a, like a bibliography. Is that the right word? No, I need a biography, not bibliography. Jesus Christ, Ashley. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. With the four deluxe tracks, they were all kind of, I feel almost in the same slower soundscape, right? Except for Feather. Feather was that little bop that we needed, but I do feel like it would actually go really well within the album. If I had to try to almost make a new track list, I feel like I could. And like story-wise, I can almost tell, and maybe this is me being parasocial, but like stick with me, stick with me. With the four tracks and looking at the other songs within you know, the whole album, I almost can point and place where in her journey, her healing experience, where those songs were. You know, I don't know if like they were written after, I don't know if they were written during. I have really just not been in the loop and that's my bad, but that's the great thing about a good songwriter is that you see the journey, you're on the journey with them and you can see where it goes and you can almost pinpoint exactly what was happening in what moment. I love that, I really love that. This, I kind of knew but I didn't think I really realized it until sitting down and listening to these. This really is a concept album. And I don't know, the more I sit with this album, the more I love it. And the more I just, it's so mature, it, but it's so fun. It has its highs, it has its lows. And that's just what it feels like to be a young adult and experiencing life and experiencing love. It's messy, but it's fun. It's awkward. It's kind of humiliating, but it's just a journey. And I feel like this album just really captured it well so we love sabrina in this household Woo! so with all that being said i'm only gonna rank the new four that we have but this is kind of the order that i'm feeling and i don't know how i did it if i even did it because they're all so good genuinely they're so good um i have a video coming up where we will be talking about the ranking of this album fairly soon so i'll rank the new four with everything else that we've had soon stay tuned make sure you subscribe like comment on the youtube stuff i'm supposed to say if you want to see it or if you just want to see other videos go on a little binge pay my rent for me that would be great <laughs> anyway i love you guys so much take care of yourself and i will see you in the next one bye